if I were Nexters, if I were Hero Wars, I would give so much free stuff to people right now. I would be constantly giving out free stuff every day. Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, Heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero Wars Central, and this video is going to be a little bit different than Hero Wars or Hero Wars Mobile Strategy. We're going to talk about the state of the game and what we need to see, what we want to see, what we deserve, maybe. It looks like due to the response from the clip of the video that I published yesterday, uh, last night, I guess, yesterday afternoon, uh, you all really want to talk about this. You are all really still concerned about this, at least those of you that are still sticking around. So I, I want to chat about this a little bit more, and I, I'm not going to be necessarily breaking the cardinal rule of my channel, and that is, you know, be kind to each other. That's actually the main rule. The second rule is to not talk about politics or religion. We're going to talk about it a little bit, and I, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. And to that end, we're not going to be speaking any facts, all right? We don't want to talk about the who, the why, the when, uh, the where, we don't, we don't know. We think we know. We've got various news outlets and you know posts on Reddit and Twitter and all of that telling us, but we don't really know. And while that's a convenient thing to say in order for me to sidestep that whole conversation, uh, it, it is the truth. You know, it, it is the truth, at least for me. I, I don't know. I don't have the time or the resources to fact check some of this stuff. And we, we just, we just don't know the, the, the real fact of the matter is, is that people are suffering. All right. That's, that's the main points is that people are suffering one way or the other. And that this is a game. All right. Let's keep those two things in our heads, in the forefront of our minds. As I discuss with you, my thoughts and feelings about what we could do or what we should do as a, as a community and as a, as a game, uh, this isn't going to be me telling you all how to think or act nothing like that. I personally like to play devil's advocate a lot. That means that I like to try to see things from both ways. I like to try to see things, the why behind an action, the the reasoning behind an action. And a lot of people will see that as me being favorable to one side or the other. But usually what ends up being the case is if you feel that way, it's because I don't I, I, is because the, the the devil's advocate point of view is not your point of view. And that's okay. You can be upset about me after this video if you'd like. I don't expect to uh, gain subscribers from this video, but I wanted to chat a little bit about some things. And I want to I wanna introduce the video with this, uh, this little segment because, uh, you know, again, we're not going to be discussing facts. I don't know anything about, you know, mega yachts being seized by Germany. Like, yeah, that, that was in the news. That's funny. That was one of the... Uh, the investors of Kismet. I don't think he's actually on the board of Kismet, but again, this is this is one of those things that I don't really know for sure of, and people are going to jump in the comment section down below and tell me with absolute certainty that this is the case or that's the case, and that's fine. You guys go crazy, but I'm going to tell you right now that you're not going to convince the majority of people on the internet by making a comment on a YouTube video. All right, I'm, let's just let's just say that out there. Let's just put that out there. And we're also not going to talk about the technicalities of where Hero Wars is located. Yes, the original Hero Wars offices were located in Cyprus. Cyprus is a country that is not Russia. All right, a lot of businesses in the Russia area, the European area, will do business out of Cyprus for tax reasons, for government avoidance reasons, you know, different, different reasons, right? People in the United States do this as well. So it's no, it's not like it's a, it's a dirty thing. Like, you know, it's, it's a, it's a completely legal loophole in, you know, the world finance banking system, whatever. And there are all kinds of, uh, there are all, all kinds of sanctions happening to Russia and surrounding countries. There are all kinds of rumors of upcoming sanctions. And, you know, every day it seems like somebody else is pulling out of Russia. You know, somebody decides to stop using their services there. YouTube is not working there or, you know, whatever, a hundred different reasons on why things don't work. Uh, I am concerned that, you know, some people in Russia are no longer uh, able to have access to free and uncensored versions of life events. But to be completely honest with you, I'm not so certain that we here in the United States have access to free and uncensored news. But I'm not gonna go on that. I'm not gonna go into that conspiracy deep end. That's that's not again. That's not why we're here for this video. People are suffering, you know, whether it's a, a justified or an unjustified invasion, war, whatever. And this is a game. This is a game. All right. Now, because of 
the closeness to the situation, the current ongoing geopolitical conflict and the conversations and the sanctions and the blockades and all of that and the pandemic before and, you know, the, the, the labor shortages and the supply shortages and all of that, the world is in a tenuous, it's in a tenuous spot. And this is a business. Nexter's Global is a business. They're a company. They have to appease at least some of their shareholders, you know, right? Every quarter. And they have to make money, right? That's the point of the business. I need to provide for my family. That's the point of me working. That's the point of, you know, me recording videos and and doing things to earn revenue. And if there was something that adversely affected my ability to take care of my family, I would need to take steps in order to continue to take care of my family. Now, drawing a parallel between my family and this, you know, $20 million a month revenue company, it's a, it's a, it's a a very zigzaggy, very swirly line, but I'm trying to make the point that Nexters needs to make decisions to keep the health of the company active. And some people are going to say, well, you know, they're funneling money into Russian government. They're, you know, they're friends with, you know, this, this person or that person. And all of that may be true. It may not be true. But the reason for Hero Wars, the reason for Hero Wars and Hero Wars Mobile is to provide entertainment using this gotcha system of mobile games that everybody uses in mobile gaming and to offer pay to win options, just like mostly every other game does. You can argue that this one has more or less pay to win options than other games, but they're not they're not necessarily going to be using this to push an agenda, right? So I don't see Hero Wars as a political tool. I see it as a game published by a company that publishes games. Now, obviously, they want money just like anybody else does. And and if they are, in fact, moving money here and there, you know, again, pure speculation. I have no facts. I have no idea. That's, that's again, that's not why I'm making this video. Some people feel some kind of way about playing this game long-term, like continuing to play this game. And there is this perception, and at least it appears to be true, that bundles and costs of things are going up. Things are becoming more difficult, right? And again, playing devil's advocate here, I'm not taking the side of Nexters in this. I have slowed down my spending as well. But the majority of things that you can purchase in the in this game have Uh, you know, stayed the same. Occasional things here and there have increased in price, 100%, no doubt about it. But that is actually best business practices. Consider this, consider this. Consider if you had a construction business, right? You build houses, okay? I don't know that I would do that right now given the shortage of lumber and all of that, but maybe you build houses and and you build a house for a dollar, okay? And everybody's buying your house for one dollar, all right? And you you have too many customers. You have too many customers. You can't build houses fast enough. You're going to raise your prices or you should. The smart business thing to do would be to raise your prices to $2 to $5. All right. There is a number, a cost to build a house, right? Let's call it $7, $7. And I'm oversimplifying this and, you know, yell at me in the comments if you'd like. There is a number where the quote unquote market value of a house becomes, you know, fair, right? It, it comes to a point that you as a business of, of building houses have enough customers, but not too much. And you're not overpricing your houses, right? You are still making a profit. You are, you know, you're still able to cover the demand and you are able to maintain a, you know, a workflow and maintain a funnel, you know, that is a sales funnel and uh, maintain the rate. Now, if you jumped up to $9 or $10, the market would tell you, no, this is too expensive. This is too expensive, all right? The market would stop buying your houses and then you would have to adjust your prices back down. So what's happening here? And again, I'm I'm a, a, a Western thinking capitalist, uh, hybrid capitalist, you know, whatever. I'm not gonna get into political affiliations and all of that. But if, if they have any sort of similarities in how they run their business, they're going to raise prices on things and tell people stop buying. All right. If they are raising prices, it is because people are buying, not necessarily because they need money. They want money. I want money. We all want money. Let's let's not lie to ourselves about that. Everybody wants money. Okay. They're raising prices of things 
until people slow down and stop buying. Now, a lot of people have done that. A lot of people have made that decision to go to, you know, go to free to play to keep this game what it is. It's a free to play game to a lot of you, to most of you in fact. And you're going to draw your entertainment and your, you know, your 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 fun from the community and from the strategy and making the most of what you have as a free to play game. And that's absolutely okay. But some of you, enough of you are still purchasing that they think it's worthwhile to raise the prices. Okay. It sucks. It sucks, but it will slow down. It will absolutely slow down. Now I want to get into the fun part in just a second, but bear with me, bear with me. So because of the raising in the cost of the bundles and the raising in the difficulty of some of the tasks to artificially increase the um, uh, number of emeralds that you need to spend on a given situation, uh, because of all of that, a lot of people are leaving the game. Now is, is the turnover more or less than before? Well, on top of the raising costs and the, you know, the increased difficulty in maintaining your position at, you know, high levels or mid levels or wherever you are. And because of the adjacency, is that even a word? Because of the nearness to the current geopolitical conflict, a lot of people have found a great reason to leave the game. But at least in my community, a lot of you have stuck around, okay? Looking at my analytics, my views overall have dropped considerably since when all of this started. My engagement has dropped considerably since all of this has started. But my subscriber count which probably will passively go down as people start to realize that they're still subscribed to me. That hasn't really dropped too much. And I could I could probably equate the drop in views overall. And we're talking just, it's, it's a less than 10% drop in views. I think it has to do with people not being interested in the topics because of other topics being more interesting. And as a YouTuber, you have to evolve, you have to maintain the conversation on the things that people care about right? If, if you all really want to talk about Kira and I make videos about Kark, you're not going to watch my videos. Like I'm not guaranteed to get 5,000 views on a video or 10,000 views or 1,000 views. Like that's not a guarantee. I have to continue to make compelling content for you all to keep watching and for future Hero Wars players to find my content and continue to watch after that. So personally, I haven't seen a huge drop in my overall numbers. Although because of the overall economy, since about October of last year, everything has gotten a little bit less profitable for me. And this is where we need to pause. And again, remind you all that this is a game and people are suffering. Okay. Don't shed a tear for me. I'm not, this is a game and people are suffering. Let's, let's keep it real. Let's keep it what it is. So the reason why I wanted to make this video is to discuss all of that, that, you know, first of all, I don't really know, and I'm not going to use my platform as a place to spew facts that may or may not be accurate. I'm not going to do that because I don't, I don't have the time or the effort to, uh, to research such things. Uh, and I'm not going to be able to advocate to a business to change their pricing model because I don't, because I feel like they will find a, they will find a happy place with the cost of their stuff and they will either lower prices or increase prices until the market decides when to stop. All right. But here's what I want to happen. Here's what I want to happen because, because of all of these reasons for people quitting, right? For people leaving the game or, or playing less. If I were a business and let's be very clear, I did not make $20 million in revenue last month, but Nexters did. <laughs> well, more than that, actually. I don't want to get into the financials too much, but you guys can go look at their financials if you'd like. They made a lot of money last month and the month before and the month before that. They have very smart people running that business. Very smart people. Okay. If I were Nexters, if I were Hero Wars, I would give so much free stuff to people right now. I would be constantly giving out free stuff every day. And I'm not talking about like the one or two chests that they give out already. I would be like, hey guys, Thanks for sticking around. Here's an absolute star hero of your choice. Congratulations. Thank you for playing the game. I would be like, you know what? Here is a, uh, you guys want a skin? You, want, you guys want a skin of your choice? Like any skin. What? Like who wants a skin? Think about it. Think about it. It is lost revenue, right? Because a skin costs 20 bucks or $15 USD or whatever. That, that's, that's potential revenue that they're going to lose. But the goodwill that they would create by us just getting a free maxed skin on a hero of our choice 
or getting a free absolute star hero of the hero of the week choice. Maybe not, maybe not Jet and Cleaver. No, definitely not Jet or Cleaver. But what if, what if you just got to choose? Now, the absolute star hero and the free skin wouldn't be, uh, you know, it wouldn't be as exciting to everybody. You know, everyone, some, you know, some people have completely maxed out heroes. Some people have every skin that they want maxed out. But the point that I'm trying to make is, is, is why not? Why, why not give away stuff? And I know, I know you're going to, you'd be like, oh, well, giving away stuff. You just said you were a capitalist. You know, what, what are we talking about here? But if, if it were me, I would be doing everything that I could to keep my customers because those represent future dollars. Customers represent future dollars. If there's no customers, <laughs> then there are no future dollars, right? I would try to maintain the goodwill of my player base as much as possible through this difficult time. I know that's the last thing on these publishers' minds, the last thing, but this is what I would do. This is what I would do. I would, I don't know, give a free maxed out Titan skin or a free maxed out totem or a totem fragment to everyone, you know, on Hero Wars Facebook and web. I I would be giving away so much stuff for like an entire week, a player appreciation week. Hero Wars Facebook and web has been around for coming up on six years. Six years this game has been active. You think this game is going to be active for another six years? I hope so. I'm going to be doing content on this game until it disappears. That could be tomorrow. I hope it's not tomorrow. I don't think it's going to be tomorrow, but I would be doing anything that I could to maintain my player base, anything, anything, just anything, a times four Emerald discount all the time, just all the time. You're still going to get people spending, but they can spend when they want. I don't know, guys. I don't know, guys. So uh, please don't get too upset. Uh, I have been giving a little bit more leeway in the comment section and on the discord about politics. Uh, go, I guess go crazy. I don't know. YouTube is going to censor you if you get too bonkers. And there's a good chance that YouTube is going to censor this video because of the amount of stuff that I talked about. But, uh, you know, that's going to be something that I have to deal with, not you guys. This is a game and people are actually suffering in the world right now because of this situation. So it is what it is. I hope that everybody's having a fantastic, safe and healthy weekend. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.